Step one, we need to do a CFW check, which is a custom firmware check. So we'll power off our console. And next we're going to hold the select button right here. And now we're going to power on our console while holding the select button to make sure it is not modded. All right, it is not modded. So we're going to go to section two, which is launch system settings on your console. So I believe we'll have to go through this menu. All right, we're in the system settings and our version is going to be displayed on the bottom right of the top screen, which is right here. And so now we're going to select a method. So we're going to be the old DS, the old 3DS, and our numbers are 11, 5, 0, 38, and this is going to be J. System model is required. Oh, I need to select that. Okay. So now we are in the installing bootstrap. What you need is this, 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 and this. Okay. So let's download those. We need the Luma 3DS file, the zip, got that. And we need the latest version of this, the bin file. Okay, we got all of that. Now here is the prep work. So we need to power off our console. Okay, console is powered off. Insert your SD card into your computer. I'll be using this SD card. We'll plug that in. Copy this file to the root of your SD card and rename it to arm11code.bin. All right, so let's get our downloads. We are going to copy this, and we're going to move it to here and paste it. This is the root of the SD card. We're going to rename it arm11code.bin. All right, done. The root of the SD card refers to the initial directory. Okay. If you don't see the bin extension, do not add it. Okay. Copy the boot.firm and 3ds from the zip of Luma. So we're going to extract this here. The boot.firm and boot 3ds from the thing to the root of our SD. All right, done. Now we're going to create a folder named boot nine strap to the root of our SD card. Boot nine strap dot firm. Oh, we do not add firm. That is our folder. Copy the firm file and this one from the zip to the folder, to this folder in the SD card. So we're going to extract this. We're going to grab those and move it to that folder. Next we're going to copy the safe B9 installer from the zip and put it on the root of our SD card. So let's extract it here. Well, that's a lot. Okay, so let's do that again and delete some stuff because that's a little much. Okay, extract. All right, so we extracted. We need to copy the bin right here to the root of our SD card. Okay. We're going to reinsert our SD card into our console. So we're going to eject our SD card. All right, we're back to our Nintendo 3DS. We're going to insert the SD card into our console. We're going to power on our console. Okay. So in this section, you will change your internet connection settings to use a proxy internet design to bypass the browser version check, allowing the browser to function without a system update. 
This will allow you to access the browser exploit web page in the next section. If you haven't, make sure you have a working internet connection. So it's successfully connected to the router and now to the internet, which is very good. Okay, so we need to launch the system settings, navigate to internet settings, connection settings. Click on your network connection slot. This is going to be difficult because I do not have the English on here. So let's see what we can do. To the right, I have my 3DS that's in English. So hopefully that will help things be a bit smoother. So we're going to go to internet settings. And then we're going to go to connection settings. We're going to click on our network connection slot. So we're going to tap that. We're going to go to change settings, which is the top here. Next page, which is this arrow. And then go to proxy settings. Set proxy settings to yes. And then click detailed setup. Set the proxy server to this address and the port to this port. So proxy server. I'll enter that now. Hit OK to continue. Press back twice. And then close and go to the home menu. OK, I'm at the home menu. Now we're going to launch this. So in this section, you will visit the browser exploit web page, which We'll use the universal app to launch the Bootstrap 9 custom firmware installer. So on the home menu, press the left shoulder button and the right shoulder button at the same time to open the camera. Okay, so the camera is working. So now we're going to the key, tap the QR button. Okay, and we're going to scan this QR code. So I scanned that code. I will press OK. So I will tap the Proceed to Hacks button. And if it was successful, this will boot into the Safe B9 installer. I think we did it. OK, so in this section, when prompted, Input the key combo given on the top of the screen to install this. Okay. Once it's complete, press A to reboot your console. Press A to continue. All right. Your console should have booted into the Luma 3DS configuration menu. So I need to enable loading firms. So right here it says enable loading firms and system modules. This isn't needed in most cases. Refer to the wiki for instructions. So I enabled that. I'll hit the start button to save. All right. So at this point, your system will boot into the Luma 3DS by default. Well, that did not boot into the Luma 3DS. Hopefully that is okay. Luma 3DS does not look any different from the normal home menu. If your console is booted into the home menu, it's running custom firmware. Okay. On the next page, you will install useful homebrew applications to complete your setup. We're going to go to internet, click on the network slot. We'll go to change settings. Next page. Go to proxy settings. And type, push the no now and hit OK. When prompted form the connection test, it should succeed. and it has succeeded. Next we're going to power off our console. Okay, we're going to the finalizing setup. So, so what you need is to download this. In this section you will copy the necessary files. So we need to power off our console. Insert our SD card into our computer. Copy the contents of this zip 
to the root of your SD card, merging and replacing any existing files if prompted. So what we're going to do, move all of that to the root of our SD card. Insert your SD card into your console. All right, so now we will safely eject that. Power on while holding the select button. Okay, so that is successful. Your console should have booted into the Luma 3DS configuration menu. Press start to save and reboot. And we're going to power off our console. If you did not boot into it, th then it will have you join that Discord. So in this section, we're going to update the system. So you'll update your system to the latest version, which is safe to do with custom firmware. Update your console going to the system settings. We're going to go to other settings and then go all the way to the right to system update, which is this one. Updates using the B9S and Luma are safe. The updater may display a message saying your system is up to date. This is normal if you already have it up to date. And you can continue to the next section. If it gives you an error, set your DNS settings, proxy settings to auto. So, okay. So now we need to open the Ro Rosalina menu. So left shoulder button down and select. Okay, we have the Rosalina menu and we're going to select miscellaneous options. And we're going to go to dump DSP firmware. Okay, press B. Nullify user time offset. Press B. Press B to return to the main menu. Press B to exit the Ro Rosalina menu. All right, now we have set up script. In this section, you will use a script to automate homebrew installation, SD card cleanup, and system file backup. So we're going to power off our console. We're going to press and hold start while holding start. We're going to power on our console and this will launch God Mode 9. So holding start and the power. Okay, we have got that. If you are prompted to create essential file backups, press A to do so. It has been written. Okay, and if you're prompted to fix the RTC date and time, press A to do so. Press home to bring up the action menu. Select scripts. Select finalize. Follow the prompts in the script answering any questions that you are asked. If you encounter an error, go to this page. We'll go to there. All right, so that's done. Now we can take our SD card out. And we're going to take the folder, the God Mode 9 folder, and the backups folder inside of that. And we're going to move these to a safe location. So we'll just copy that, put it on our desktop for now. Okay, and if you still have them, you can delete the two SysNAN files from there, and you can keep the essential file because it's so small. So we will delete the SysNAN files. Okay. And then we can put that back into our console, uh, work that out. Oh, here we go. We got some presents. 
so our 3DS is officially hacked. I don't think I'm going to change the language to English because it's a lot of work. And if I do, it's going to take some more time. But as of right now, it gives the English titles on the top, which is very good. So now it just comes to Universal Updater and what to install. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.